This is CBC Winnipeg News. Heard a big bang? Did you hear that? A huge storm ripped through the province. Hail, heavy rain, even a tornado touched down. It destroyed property, it split trees, knocked out power, and left one community in a state of emergency. Good evening. I hope your home is okay. It was quite a night. The storm entered the province around supper time yesterday and hit the city of Winnipeg around 8. Environment Canada confirms a tornado did touch down near Portage La Prairie and then moved along an 8 kilometer long path. The hardest hit area was in Long Plain First Nation. And that's where the CBC's Riley Lechuk is tonight. He joins us now live. So Riley, just how bad is the damage there? You know, Janet, you don't even need words to describe just how bad the damage was from the storm. In fact, if you look behind us here, this home is right off of its foundation. In fact, you can actually see right inside of the house. Thankfully, the people who live in this house were not home at the time the tornado hit. Frida Meacha says she's lucky she stopped to wait out the storm that destroyed her house. It was one of the most damaged by a tornado that ripped through Long Plain First Nation. Shocked. Worried about our cats because we had three cats and they're okay. Yeah. But um, hopefully we get a house. Something happens right away. And um, it is sad because everything is new in the house. Meech's home was lifted right off its foundation, leaving her belongings scattered in her yard. A pickup truck in her driveway was also thrown onto its side. Her and her husband stopped to ride out the storm. Nearly 50 homes were severely damaged in Long Plain alone. Chief Dennis Meaches believes up to 150 could have some sort of damage. Long Plain's housing manager was brought to tears just thinking about the destruction. Yeah, we're getting through it. Okay. How is it, do you think, for your community to experience an event like that? I think it's really devastating. Across the street from Frida's house, Clemens Assiniboine is also picking up the pieces. His sheds were destroyed and part of his roof was ripped off all while he was inside. You could just hear the roar and all of a sudden I can feel the roof tearing off slowly on the south side. And I thought maybe this was it because I was kind of figuring all the roof was going to come off. Chief Dennis Meacher says it could take up to five days for hydro to be restored in the community and for damage estimates to be complete on homes to determine what needs to be fixed. He toured the community this morning before a community meeting this afternoon. We toured a devastation. It was quite, quite, uh, quite remarkable to see the, the amount of uh, damage that was done. For now, up to 200 evacuees will be staying in Winnipeg, waiting to find out when they can return home and start cleaning up. Frida Meacher hopes she can start cleaning up soon and rebuilding on the same lot. And Chief Meacher says the cleanup could take up to six months to complete here. A crews actually are hard at work today, but there is still a lot more work left to be done. Riley Lechuk, CBC News, Long Plain First Nation. Thank you very much, Riley. As Riley mentioned, some people are leaving the community of Long Plain. The Red Cross has set up an evacuation center in Winnipeg.